Hey guys, this is Monica with the Roma Plans and today I am here to start my 2023 budget planner setup. So I have four videos <laughs> coming for y'all um, with my budget planner setup just because there's a lot to set up in this planner and I didn't want the videos to be super long. So I'm going to break it up into four different videos. And I know it's been a while since I've done a budget video. I just kind of took a break from the videos and honestly I am ready to get back to them because without actually filming the check-ins and everything I haven't been doing that great with keeping up with tracking my expenses and different things like that. We've had a lot of changes in our budget in the last um, couple of months so I'm excited to get back into this in 2023. I've been using the one Mine, I've been using it for 2022. I just haven't been as diligent as keeping up with the expenses. So whenever I do sit down to work in my budget planner, it's a very long process because I'm having to catch up on so much stuff. And hi, if you're new here, my name is Monica and I love all things planning and budgeting. I have a printable sticker shop that has planner and budgeting stickers on Etsy. So most of what you see will be from my shop. There is a couple of things in today's video that is not from my shop just because honestly some of them I don't make. I don't have the paper for so and I had them in my stash already. So I use the Erin Condren 7x9 monthly planner. I love this planner for budgeting. This is my this is going to be my, I think my third year using it and it just helps keep everything organized all together. And I just love coming back to it every month and decorating it with the stickers and everything. You definitely do not need stickers or anything for budgeting and to be successful with budgeting, but it's just what helps me. And y'all, I love this cover and this is just a beautiful cover. I love all things Etta V. And I actually bought the blanket for this. And then my daughter, when it came, she fell in love with it. So it's now basically living on her bed. And I don't really get to use it very much, but I just love this cover. Now I use sticky notes all throughout the planner. Whenever I get a new planner, I always use these sticky notes to kind of plan out what I want to do and how I want to set it up. I'm going to print and cut a sticker for this. I just haven't done that yet. And this is the Color Blends version. I actually bought the Colorful Harmony version with this same cover earlier in the year. I think I ordered the planner a week or a week and a half before they announced they were going to do the Color Blends. And I was so upset because I love the Color Blends. I just, I love that it's the, I love that the dividers are colorful, but pretty much everything else is neutral. And I actually sold my Colorful Harmony on Facebook and bought this planner. I told myself that I would not buy another monthly planner unless I sold the other one, and I did. And then we're going into the year at a glance. Now, in previous years, I've used the year at a glance to track our paydays and when our sinking funds and the holidays that we would um, need to budget for are due and birthdays and everything like that. And this year I decided to do something different. It just honestly was a little bit cluttered. This year I've decided not to put all of that on the year at a glance. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple and I'm just gonna put our paydays on here. So with our paydays, we have mine and my husband's and we get paid on the same day. And then we have our Romo Plans payday. So, I'm gonna, I haven't decided if I'm going to cover up this part of it because you get an 18 month year at a glance, but the planner is only for 12 months. So this um, I could cover up with something. I just haven't decided if I'm going to do that or not. And I have these planner cake transparent squares. I used these last year. I will say from what I remember from last year, I wish I hadn't gotten the circles because getting the squares on straight was not an easy task, but this is what we have. So we're going to go ahead and use this because I'm not going to buy anything for it because I already have it. So we're going to use this dark teal color for the paydays. And then I'm going to use this purple color for the Romo plans payday. So my husband and I get paid every other week and we do get paid on the same day, which is nice. I kind of wish it was on altering days just so we would have money coming in every week, but it's fine. We're so used to it by now. 
and he recently got a new job within his company so he actually got a pretty good raise with that which is awesome so we are just putting a lot of that money to savings and paying off debt and everything so I think I may speed y'all up a little bit because this is kind of a tedious process. <laughs> but I know there's a lot of different ways to use this. Um, just, you know, tracking different things just so you can kind of see on a calendar what things are. So we can see that March is going to be the three paychecks. paydays are down you'll see notice that I screwed up one of the dates and I had to go back and then for the Roma plans paydays I typically close out the Roma plans budget the around the third or fourth of the month I like to give it a couple of days to any transactions that happen at the very end of the month for that to kind of process before I close out the budget. So I'm just gonna do the third of the month unless there is already a payday sticker there and then I'll do the fourth. And I've just found that waiting until the fourth gives me like more accurate numbers and I'm able to get that done. And that's always an exciting time. And it doesn't take me super long to close out the budget just because of the way that I do my finances with Remo plans. I use the profit first method. And so it's more of just kind of looking at like what was brought in and then I have percentages set up for everything as far as profit, expenses, taxes, and then our take home. So I'm just finishing up putting those down. All right, and then for my key, I'm just going to, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on this page. Like I said, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this side of the page. So I may decor, cover that up and decorate it some, but I just got grabbed these boxes from Planner Kate just because I just think they look better. It's more a, it's more a simple look. And I just put payday and then run my plans to coordinate with the colors. And I love purple and teal together. I think it's a really good color combo. So I really like how that looks. So that page is pretty much done. Now going into the 12 boxes, I did go ahead and put the month stickers down because 
I was testing out these stickers when I was designing them and so I went ahead and put them down just to make sure that they fit in this spot and it went, they weren't too big, they weren't too small. So I went ahead and just left them down. But these just released in my shop along with a bunch of scripts to match the 2023 kits. So I'll have a link down below if you wanna check them out with the discount code. And I just love this script. I think it's really pretty and it's always different. Like I changed up both of the scripts on my budget kits this year and I just, I love the combination of them together. So for this page, I decided that I was going to do like the important dates and sinking funds and different things like that and put that on this page because it just, I feel like, you know, because when I had it on this page, I had to like look at the key and then find it on the, I had to look at the key and then find it in the calendar and everything. But here I can just look at it and say, oh, this is happening in this month. So for January on the 11th, it is my husband's birthday. Yeah, we have Christmas and then our anniversary is New Year's Eve and then his birthday is the 11th. And then on the 24th, I'm going to go ahead and skip lines here. I may regret that later in the year, but um, we're going to go ahead and do it. It's my grandma's birthday and then on the 31st, our car taxes are due. All right. So I'm just going to go through and do that with all of the months. All right. So that is everything. I put the birthdays, I put holidays. I just put the holidays that we probably will do something budget wise. I didn't put Valentine's Day. Honestly, Valentine's isn't that big a deal with us. <laughs> we don't typically do anything for Valentine's Day. Um, so, but we do have... Um, a sinking fund for a date night that we put in every month and we try to do it at least a designated date night every month. Um, so we may, that kind of like probably will run together there, but we just don't really celebrate it. <laughs> and then also his school payments. Honestly, we haven't really had to pay for his school. He's been getting scholarships and everything. But I do like to go ahead and put those down just so I'm aware of it. Our vacation, Amazon car taxes. And then his company does a shutdown from June 23rd to the 10th of July where the company shuts down. And they do like a skeleton crew where they come in and do maintenance on the building because they don't really have time to do all of that maintenance during it's maintenance that they can't really do during the year um, because they have to completely shut down areas in order to do this type of maintenance. Now with his new job, he, we are pretty sure that he will be working this shutdown, but since this is the first year, we are keeping that sinking fund, but we are decreasing the amount just because we are like 98% sure he's going to be working it. And then if he ends up working it, that will give us some extra money to do something with in July. And then of course, Christmas shopping. I like to have pretty much all of my Christmas shopping done by the end of November. Our big goal for our Christmas sinking fund is to have it done, have everything in there by October. So that is the 12 box page. I really like this. I definitely am kind of going for more of a simple look this year and just trying to think of how I've been using this in the years past because last year I did this as like a savings tracker and I didn't use it past March. I just didn't. <laughs> so um, trying something new with these. But this is a great page and I really want to utilize it, but I want to figure out what's the best way to utilize it. So this page is technically the first page of January. So the way the planner works, if you've never seen the monthly planner, you've got a page before the month that goes with the month. You have the divider, then you have your monthly spread, 
you have a notes page, the dashboard, and then you have just a bunch of notes pages. And then at the end of the month, the last page, that goes with February. I don't like that. I just don't. So I like to set it up to where all of the pages behind the divider go with that month. And it works. Now when you get to December, because you're not using this page for December, I think the way they changed the planner this year, it, it still works. So you still get two, four, six, eight. So you still get like 10 pages with that and 10. So you don't lose any pages with December now. So I like that. Um, it just works better for me if everything is behind the tab. So what I'm gonna do with this page is I'm gonna make it my goals page. Now this is my financial goals and most of that tracking is going to be in my goal planner, but I want to have my, I wanna have my financial goals in here. So this isn't all my goals, it's just my financial ones. And I did see Sarah Marie's, one of her videos where she did her goals like as a journaling kind of page using journaling stickers. And I really liked that. So I grabbed the journaling stickers for the kit that goes with like the 2023 budget kit in January. So this is new to my shop this year. So I've got all three pages of the journaling kit. I've got the clip art that comes with the weekly and daily kits. I've got the doodle boxes and then I've got the washi page and I just figured let's have some fun because I really don't know. Um, I don't really know. I did not pre-plan this. So we're just going to have some fun with it and see where it takes us. Um, so I'm going to start down here and I'm just going to put this right here and then I'm gonna just put this at the top of the page and maybe do that and then I'm going to do 20, 23 goals. There we go. Now, my main goal for financial for 2023 is to continue to build wealth. And that's, that's one of those goals that when you think about it, to me, I always thought, oh, wealth means like you're super wealthy. You're, you know, but honestly, it's more of my, our net worth now, I want it to increase. And in order to do that, two things have to happen. We have to pay off debt and we have to save more money. So really that's kind of it encompasses everything that we want to do because we want to pay off debt and we want to save more money. I'm going to go ahead. I'm actually going to leave this on the page because I just find it's a lot easier to write while it's on the page. And I'm going to just write out the main goal for the year. Yeah, I think I like that a little bit better. So I'm just going to put this down here. And that's kind of the main goal. That's our driving force of the goal. And then all of this is basically the breakdown of the goal. Of All of this is how this is going to happen. Because in order for this to happen, I need a plan of what's going to get us there. So the first thing is we are going to pay off debt. So I'm going to grab one of these doodle boxes and I'm just going to say pay off debt. And then I'm going to put this here. And then I'm going to use one of these million arrows that I have on this, in this journaling kit. And I'm just going to kind of like place them here. So the first thing that 
we are going to be paying off is Linky, and that is my student loans. And then after that, that will be all of our student loans done. The next thing is going to be Haverty's. So that is our bedroom furniture. And then we're going to have our Peloton. Now we will have other debt coming in. Um, my husband ordered a truck over a year ago. <laughs> he ordered a truck and it still has not been built. So um, we are, it's supposed to be built sometime in December. So it's kind of weird because in my 2023 budget, I kind of had to go and do that without the firm like payment. So we like overestimated that. Okay, that sticker did not want to come up. I had to change the blades and stuff in my silhouette. And so it's not like some of the stickers are just not working properly. Figuring out like the cut settings of the new blade and all of that. All of that fun stuff. If you have a cutting machine, you, you, if you have a silhouette, you know what I'm talking about. They can be very temperamental. And then I'm just gonna put a Peloton here. So that is the debt part of it. And then down here, I'm just gonna put save. And then I have this arrow here. And then I'm just gonna put retirement. We are increasing our retirement. And then we are just doing our emergency fund. And for this one, I'm just gonna do e-fund. And I think that's the main two things that we're gonna be saving for. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just put some of this clip art around just to kind of help fill in that space. And we're just gonna leave it at that because I may add more stuff to it. You know, it's super simple. It's just something that I can look at and say, you know, I wanna to continue to build wealth and to do that, I'm gonna pay off this debt and then I'm gonna save. And by doing that, that will increase our net worth, which is what we wanna do. All right, so that is everything for this video. Um, these are all of the front pages in the budget planner. Um, so we've got the goals the dates, and then also the year at a glance. So definitely, um, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of the setup of videos. Like I said, there are three more coming just because I wanted to break them up a little bit. I did get the extra pages in the back of the planner and I have a lot of trackers to go in there. So definitely um, stick around for that. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button and I hope you have a great day.